Yeah, that's right, Pika. It's Christmas time. It's official. Now we can play the Christmas music. Well, we can't. Up for the show. <clears throat> I don't want to get a copyright strike, dude. Come on. Hi. Welcome back. Once again, it's time for the Comics Coffee Table, 3 p.m. U.S. Eastern Daily. I hope that you had a great Thanksgiving yesterday. Hope you're recovering. I hope it was stress-free. I hope it was full of family and food and love and togetherness and giving thanks uh, for everyone that could have, that could make it and for everyone that couldn't be there and for everyone that's passed on as well. You're, you're in our hearts and um, at the table as well. But here, it's the, uh, it's the day after Thanksgiving. It's Black Friday. Woo! It's officially Christmas season. I'm psyched. Now I can listen to Christmas music. I've see I, I avoid all things Christmas until today. I wake up, I roll out of bed, and I put on the um, the Charlie Brown Christmas album. This is my this is an this is called an iPod. Yeah, <laughs> it just plays music. Wow. Yeah. But uh, hi. Yeah, it's the Comics Coffee Table. We meet up here at our very own coffee table, take a break from our day. Um, you notice it's a little festive and holiday-like in here? That's right. The production team, we, 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 we put on our, uh, our, um, our holiday apparel. Naughty and nice and a little bit of bah humbug. No, nah, I like Christmas. Looking forward to it. And um, thank you so much for tuning in. It's we are the we are reboarding, rebagging, reboxing my entire collection this year. We're almost done. It's taken all year. We've come a long way. It's been a great excuse to look at some old comic books and, and enjoy panels, pages, art, characters, moments, old floppies. I don't, I don't agree with the word floppy being a negative. I don't. You know, uh, just maybe we should look that up. Why is floppy? Oh, no, they're, they're talking about floppy disks for comics. A note on the term floppy. Let's see. I found something on Tumblr. Uh, I don't. I don't do Tumblr. I don't do Reddit. I don't do Slacks. I don't do, um, you know, I was in a room full of my my, uh, my friends, my real life friends, who would we would we would call normies. They would be nor normal people, typical people, people who aren't part of like the fandom and the and the big conversation. And I was like, yeah. And then and, and some people play their shows on YouTube and then on Rumble, and they're like, all of them are like, what's Rumble? Normies don't know what Rumble is, <laughs> and it might be a bit too center right for, <laughs> you know. So, um, yeah. Hi there. Welcome back. Let's get to it. Let's start boarding and bagging our comic books. I've got supplies. The supplies I get at my local comic book shop. Really big on spreading the news and the advocacy of. The agenda of the platforming and the messaging and the, the, the who's and what's and things. And you get to your local comic book shop and spend your money there on your supplies. There, I said it! Naughty, nice, bah humbug. Indeed. Um, it's the end of an era. We're doing something today. What are we doing? Well, it's my Crisis Long Box. It's my beloved centerpiece of my entire collection it's a personal curation of lots of different dc stories and uh, especially the crisis on infinite earth stories and the, just the crises that it's been happening so for the past 40 years or so but um almost almost but it's time let's uh We've got, we only got two things left in here. We're just going to pop them in this box. 
and we're going to get to it. We have 52, the weekly. And a countdown, the other weekly. Goodbye. Say goodbye to yesterday. And I'll take with me the memories to be my sunshine and the rain. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. That's it. The DC long box, the DC crisis long box is done. Wow. End of an era. This is a 20 year old curation collection, a sorting. Wow. It's done. That's it. Yeah, the DC crisis long box is no more. Truly a Black Friday. Oh, no, just. You're going out to recycling, and hopefully you'll be recycled into new paper that's made into new comics, and the circle of life will be maintained here. We'll bring you down there to recycling a little later. But here we are. Get your own box. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on Countdown. Why? I mean, you spent so much. Countdown to Infinite Crisis. Commonly known. Oh no. This is the special. Stand by. No, I messed that up. It's Countdown to Final Crisis. And. Uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, none of these comics made a difference. It has a, it was um, a countdown. I'm gonna read this from you guessed it, the Wiki Countdown, also known as Countdown to Final Crisis, for its last 24 issues, based on the cover, was a comic book limited series published by DC Comics. It debuted on May 9th, 2007. Fifteen years ago? It's fourteen. Yeah. <laughs> Directly following the conclusion of the last issue of 52, uh, this is the series is primarily written by Paul Dini, along with a rotating team of writers and artists. Countdown consists of 51 issues, numbered and reversed, and published weekly for one year. The series covers much of the fictional DC universe told in parallel narratives through the interconnecting stories of a cast of characters, and it frequently cro crosses over with other DC titles. Um, unlike the 52 limited series from the year before, Countdown is not depicted as taking place in quote-unquote real time, but presumably operates in the same floating timeline as DC comic stories in general. Um, Countdown to Final Crisis was originally intended to run issues 51 through 0, with 0 serving as a prologue to Final Crisis limited series. Instead, um, Countdown concluded with issue 1, and the 0 issue was retitled to DC Universe number 0, which was written by Jeff Johns and Grant Morrison. And that served as, like, that was like, here you go, there's your there's your Final Crisis issue zero, in a way. Um, 
while the book was billed as leading up to the beginning of DC's Final Crisis limited series, it later emerged that the plot lines in Countdown had diverged from what was written for Final Crisis, leading to continuity problems between the two books, as noted by Final Crisis author Grant Morrison. Much of the comic had subsequently been retconned out of continuity, along with Death of the New Gods. I didn't get that many. I didn't. Uh, Jimmy Olsen learning Superman's secret identity, the battle between him and Darkseid, and the other events have been ignored following the conclusion of the series. Um, during a DC Nation panel at the 2008 San Diego Comic-Con, then DC editor-in-chief Dan DiDio invited fans to give their opinion of what, rent, what went wrong with Countdown. DiDio had reportedly described the series as 52 done right. It, well, because he, he has to pimp his product. You're not supposed to disparage your product. You're not supposed to say, like, well, you know, it's not going to be, you know. Um... Got Brave New World in the wake of Infinite Crisis. And uh, yeah, DC Universe number one somewhere over there. We started with some bags and boards on this. We got some wonderful Adam Kubert art. But I'm not going to waste the resources on uh on this no because i've never reread i mean i actually have reread these they're okay they're just not great okay. oh, gee. this is how we get spine rolls sully when, when your floppies all fall over oh well, let's look at one Beautiful cover. Showcasing all the different heroes of, you know, that year. It opens up with Desaad, you know, doing Desaadi things. You get people on, just like gruesome imagery though. I mean, like people on meat hooks. You know what I mean? That's just, like, really gross. I mean, that's so dehumanizing, in a way. This big chess game. And all these C and Z listers that, like, kind of don't matter. It's the Joker's daughter. There's actually Duella Dent. And she's hanging out with Holly Robinson, who's a sidekick of Catwoman. And, uh... Mary Marvel. She loses her power and then has, has to hit someone else up for, 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 for superhero power. And it's, so it's, you know... And then we have Probably the best part of this was Trickster and uh, and um, and Pied Piper handcuffed together, and then Trickster dies, and so Piper has to drag his dead body around with him, handcuffed. Interesting. Red Hood. Yeah, and none of the... Just... This was kind of a waste... Of time. And money. And resources. It's two ninety nine. Do some math. Two ninety nine times fifty one. That is one hundred and fifty two dollars and forty nine cents just for the fifty one issues of Countdown. And then comes 
Giants through through, and now I did not get Death of the New Gods. And I'm grateful for that because none of it mattered. Yeah, the old Wildstorm universe used to be Earth 50. Donna Troy, Kyle Rayner, Jason Todd. These are two ninety nine a piece as well. You know, and it was a, it was a nice excuse to go to. You know, the comic book every the comic book store every Wednesday. Yeah, I mean. The search for Ray Palmer, and then there was Arena as well. And we also got the the Morris and Authority a little bit in here as well. We got three ninety nine, so that's a throw another twelve bucks on there, huh? Yeah. Gonna spend much time on that. We will, though, spend a little bit more time on 52. Hey, look, video game ad. Two dollars and fifty cents. Yeah, 52. This was great. It debuted on May 10th, 2006, one week after the conclusion of Infinite Crisis. Now, there was the one year later storyline, as we touched upon yesterday. Um, such with, with Nightwing and with Superman's Up, Up, and Away. This fills in the blanks of that entire year. The multiverse, the local multiverse has been reborn. History is now resetting. Coalescing into what we know as Earth Zero slash New Earth slash you know, prime earth i mean we've got ralph dibney who's looking to who's been who's being kind of suckered into thinking he can bring uh, his his dead wife sue back from the dead we've got renee montoya who is now the, the question We got Booster Gold trying to fill in for Superman while he's depowered. And I love the, the the NASCAR kind of look to it that he's got corporate sponsorship on his on his uh, <laughs> on his on his outfit. Drink soda cola. It can sing soda cola. <laughs> Action figures, anyone? I love Superboy Prime. Earth Prime Superboy, as, as they said here. Hmm. That's a really nice power girl. Superboy Connor Kent sacrificed himself. To Actually, that's Vic Sage, the uh, the question, and he's giving his uh, his mantle over to to Renee Montoya. A card game. The ultimate game meets the infinite crisis. Went nowhere, huh? 
but let's get some bags, boards. Prep some of these ahead of time. One of these are is a key. It's the first appearance of modern Kate Kane Batwoman. Here we go. Pull up a chair, grab a cuppa. We got some freshly brewed coffee. One thing I loved about 52 was the um, there was a backup feature in each one we have donna troy who remembers like all the the multiverses and stuff like this it's called the history of the dcu and uh, we got some great dan jurgens art t-bear art here and it just goes down the line just like giving you quick little recap of everything that's happened. Two Earths. <laughs> Two Supermen. To be concluded next week. I should... Should I triple these up? But look, look at all that spiral corners. But these are well read. These are well loved. Great covers. JG Jones did all the covers for this. This is impressive. I mean, 52 was a really interesting time to be a comic book fan, a DC fan. room for another in here. Black Adam getting medieval on his ass. Tearing Terra Man in two. It's before this, in, in, uh, in Infinite Crisis, he kills a psycho pirate. He puts his the Medusa mask like right through his face. The history of the DCU. These are the Silver Age bags, so, aha, uh -huh, now we can, we can fit three in there, and that's what we're going to do. Awesome. Did you have a good Thanksgiving? I hope you did. I had a nice one. Hung out with my parents. So I like to say the, the littlest, biggest table in the in, in the world with us.
the heroes who went to space, some didn't come back. Hawk Girl was just she was turned into a giant. Well, the history of the DC universe goes the first eleven issues. Animal Man and Starfire and and Adam Strange stranded on a planet together trying to survive. They were part of the space team. That was over in the Ran Thanagar War th part of things. During Infinite Crisis. Here we are. Week 11. I heard about this one. Okay, now... This is definitely not a 9.2. Because we got a lot of spying roll. We've got corners. But we're going to look this up real quick. In the book. Uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, 52. Here it is, 52. 11. 52, week 11. Four dollars. <laughs> From a 250 book. But that's only if it was at a 9.2. So this is the first appearance. She has a single panel appearance in issue 9. I thought that would have been worth more. Guess not. Oh well. Kate Kane and Renee Montoya. Hmm. Todd Knock. Get some Todd Knock art in here. It's really good. You had the breakdowns by Keith Giffen. Art by Joe Bennett. Todd Knock. But yeah, this is like a murderer's row of writers. This was like the best of the best. This is probably one of the best things DC's, in my humble opinion, ever put out. And then the, the focus of the history of the DCU will switch. To Secret Origins. To be continued in the DC universe everywhere. Dun 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 dun. Nine. 
good time to figure this stuff out. Like, are you missing issues? 18, 19, 20. Wow, are we missing issue 12? I hope not. Ten, eleven, and thirteen. We are missing issue twelve, aren't we? It's a kick in the gotta be in here somewhere. We'll find it. And when we do, I'll let you know. Then the backup changes to a two page we get these really good secret origins at the end of it awesome stuff thank you so very much for tuning in it's been the comics coffee table we're reboarding rebagging and reboxing my entire comic book collection, and we're getting near the end. We are in the end game, and um, and I'm glad you enjoyed your holiday. I hope you did. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Keep the conversation going, and um, we will see you again in those funny pages. Okay. Um, God bless. Namaste. Good luck, and uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Like and subscribe, and um, and it's officially the Christmas season. Yes. <laughs> Turn on the Christmas music now. All right. Now, just, there you go. All right. Have a great day. Cheers. Bye-bye.